morning, dear Doxa and friends. We are talking about Psalm 23. And it is one of the most well-known Psalms in the, in the Bible. Uh, probably one of the most well-known pieces of Scripture. And um, in this Psalm, God reveals Himself as a shepherd. But maybe this Psalm is also an inspiration, an example that we can follow of being a good shepherd. Because many places the Bible also talks about us as shepherds. The word pastor means shepherd. So let's look at this example and I want to read verse 4. We already said that a shepherd, a Psalm 23 shepherd or a person leads. But I want to say today that a Psalm 23 person is also present. Yes, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear or dread no evil. And listen what it says, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. As you read through this psalm, it talks about God. It says, He leads me. Uh, but when He gets you, listen what it says. Not says, He, when I go through the valley of the shadow of death, He is with me. He says, You are with me. He's not talking about God. Suddenly, He's speaking with Him. And that's the point. In a crisis, God doesn't speak necessarily a, a hundred words. And that's, it's, it's also not saying that God is saying many things to me. All he's saying, when I get to my crisis point, I've discovered the great shepherd is with me. You can't shepherd the sheep with the shepherd's staff on a hundred meters. If you want to shepherd him or look after him with the shepherd's staff, you have to be with him. And... When people experience trauma or crisis, many times we feel, what can I tell them, you know, and what can I say? Well, maybe the point is you're not there to say anything. You are there because God wants you to be exactly just that. Be there. Be present. I want to inspire you, encourage each one of us. Maybe your friend or maybe somebody at work your boss, or experience pain and crisis, and you don't know what to tell them. It's not important what you're going to say. What's important is that you will be there. Uh, as parents, there's a Latin word for a teenager, it's the, it's the, the word tuna, and it, and, and it means pain. Going, growing up sometimes is a painful experience, and as parents we want to say a million things, but maybe it's not about what you say but being present. And let's be there for people. May God inspire you to be a Psalm 23 person. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we want to trust you that you will help us to follow your example and be 20, a Psalm 23 person. I pray for each one in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching. May God truly bless you today. Bye-bye.